Hey guys, happy Wednesday. I'm on my way to work and here's what I'm taking with me to eat today. First of all, my coffee. I have two Nespresso capsules for zero smart points, three tablespoons of Land O'Lakes fat-free half and half for one smart point. So coffee is one. My breakfast is Sally's one smart point Olay apple wrap. So inside it's an Olay Extreme Wellness Wrap for one smart point. And then inside I have some of Hungry Girl's Scoopable Apple Pie for zero smart points. Folded it over. I sprayed the top with some I Can't Believe It's Not Butter spray and then crimped the edges and baked that in the air fryer for 400 degrees for about five minutes. I think I probably need to reduce the temperature and bake it a little longer because it got a little crispy on the edge, but I'm super excited to see what that tastes like. It's gonna be awesome. That is one smart point. So breakfast is two points. My lunch today does not look appetizing at all. This is frozen leftovers. So this is the Italian chicken pasta that I made a few weeks ago. It's 11 smart points, and I don't really know how pasta freezes and thaws if it's gonna, <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna be. So we'll find out today I had like four extra servings of this that I put in the freezer so hopefully the pasta will still be okay when it thaws so this is 11 smart points and then my snack is some um, candy apple salad for zero smart points and then the popcorn is for a movie we're going to a movie directly after work tonight so I have two of the mini I prefer to have just one large bag but I'm out of the large bag so I have two mini bags they are three smart points each so I'm gonna have six points of popcorn at the movie so everything all together then I'll probably have some dinner after the movie I'm not sure yet but everything so far is gonna be 11 plus 6 is 17 18 19 19 points okay I also just sprinkled some of this pumpkin pie spice on top of my apple wrap so looks so good so good hey Wednesday walk break here's my outfit of the day My shirt says, don't, don't go it alone. A wonderful gift from my wonderful friend, Angela, who understands a lot of the things that I go through. Thank you so much, Angela. And thank you for not letting me have to go through things alone. I appreciate that. I have so many wonderful friends, you guys, through this YouTube channel. And I'm talking real life friends. So I really, really appreciate all of you. And you guys know who you are. I have this huge, wet spot on my jeans because I had to wash because when I was eating the apple pie Olay wrap thing in the car big old glob of apple pie stuff landed on my jeans of course it was a big glob that had cinnamon and everything so had to wash that off but you guys that Olay apple wrap turnover pie whatever you want to call it I can't remember what you call it Sally but it's delicious and it was so so easy as long as you already have like the I have like a ton of the hungry girl scoopable apple pie right now so as long as you already have that ready so easy just plop it in the Olay wrap crimp the edges throw it in the air fryer so good so good um I'm also super happy because today I finally got, hmm, just a moment. Passing people who are very curious to see what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm super happy because I got my gym membership renewed at a lower rate because I get a discount through Kaiser. So yeah, tomorrow I'm going to the gym. I'm super excited about that. And that's about all that's going on right now. So check in with you guys a little bit later. I am loving this Kat Von D lip stain. It's so creamy and mellow. I love it. It's the one I got in my BoxyCharm. It's 6.15 and I am brain dead. Some days really take it out of me and some days don't. Today was one of those days. I did not take my second walk break because I took my walking buddy, I drove him to the train station so he could catch the train early. And I wanted to tell you guys that the pasta, 11 points, is pretty high for any meal for me, but it was very, very filling, so that's good. I had that about, about 2 o'clock and I'm still 
still fine. So headed to go pick up Eddie and then we're gonna go watch Venom. <laughs> All these Marvel movies and the comic book stuff, I get so lost. I have to take each individual movie individually because I can't piece together the characters very well because I forget who's who and I just get lost and there's just so many superheroes. It's like, who is this guy now, for real? So we're gonna go see Venom tonight. I am running home to pick up Eddie and then I'm going to pop my popcorn, which I haven't popped yet. And I have some seltzer water and that's really all I feel like for dinner right now. So I may have maybe some um, scoopable apple pie later with some yogurt or I don't know I'm not really hungry so I want to lighten up a little bit so if I'm not hungry before I go to bed maybe I'll have a bag of chips or something one bag not five bags hopefully a bag of chips and a salted caramel bar maybe that kind of sounds good anyway onward I'm on the epilogue of pieces of her by Katherine Slaughter what an intriguing book. There is just enough, just enough, not spy stuff, what is the word I'm looking for? Conspiracy. There's just enough conspiracy and let's blow up the world-ism to make it interesting, but not so much political stuff to make it boring. It's like the perfect mix for me. So, and also heavy on the action, a little bit of love stuff here and there. And um, yeah, just the right mix of a little bit of family, a little bit of everything. I'm enjoying it. I'm on the epilogue, one more chapter, one more hour, and then I'm done and I'm ready to do the book club on Sunday. I've been thinking about the live book club discussions and I may potentially move to, because of my schedule and because I now um, work on Sunday afternoons, I, I may start, I, oh, this is potential, but I need to start working out. And Sunday mornings are a good time for me to get in a really good workout. So I may move the book club discussion to the Facebook group, Team Living Large, and do it as an interactive kind of discuss where and when you can. So for example, I would, on the appropriate day, I would leave discussion topics and discussion questions. And then within that group and that thread, we could all discuss amongst ourselves what we think. So. Um, I don't know if this will maybe help other people be able to participate more as well. Um, and also the conversation can be more ongoing versus just half an hour or an hour. And um, I know it would probably help me time-wise, but I was curious as to what you guys think. And I know you like the live discussion, but do you think that this um, Facebook group discussion could be equally as beneficial? I think that all of you who do the book club are also on Team Living Large on Facebook, so if you're not, let me know, because you need to be in Team Living Large, because we're awesome. <laughs> anyway, it's a really, really good place for support and encouragement and ideas and tips and questions and maybe a book club. So let me know what you guys think about that.